Hello to another video with uh, Linux Mint 19.3 and this time we will talk about installing Quarterfox browser which is basically Firefox. The difference is that uh, Waterfox still um, using all features which has been removed and the most important no telemetry so no no collecting your data you have two features waterfox current and uh, the one which is classic both requirements is uh, one library which uh, you can see linux min right now up to now doesn't have the required uh, feature for the latest version of uh, waterfox so you cannot uh, really install it C2.27 is the current version in Linux Mint. To, to be able to install, we can install slightly older version than the latest one. And to accomplish this is just in the download link, you're changing the day 2021 to 2019 October. Pressing enter. And you'll be able to download that version which is compatible with the Linux Mint 19.3. Maybe in the future, uh, after some update, Linux Mint will be able to support the library. But for now, we have to go to the little slightly older version. Extracting the, the file and uh, just testing it by clicking twice on the executable file it's already started which means that everything is fine after we have in it operational we can just put the icons on the desktop with the right button create a new launcher here Pick up a name, choose the, the file. This is in our folder which we extracted the file. Selecting an icon if you want. Later on on video you'll be able to see how we can select the original Waterfox icon. This yes or no if you want to select it, uh, create icon inside of the menu. Here you can select no because by default you do create inside of uh, other category and we like to be inside of internet. So I just wanted to show you so I could click yes and it will appear here. If you don't delete from others category Unfortunately, you will not be able to have the same icon twice in others and internet. So you have to delete from others and recreate it inside of category internet. Procedure is exactly the same like on the desktop icon. That refreshing it was not necessary, just I wanted to show it has this feature. If you like to create under a uh, shortcut on the toolbar with the right button on the mouse and click uh, add, and it will have uh, also a shortcut on your toolbar. The cool features are removed from Firefox and this is uh, disable auto updates as you see the latest version are not compatible so I disable auto update here I selecting uh, a search engine which you like you can select or leave it it so waterfox it's actually Firefox so if you put extensions you can use all extension of Firefox now if you like to have uh, 
the original icon we can just uh, go in the browser and searching for png file which is transparent file 64 by 64 so the most important is to find a picture with which is resolution 64 by 64 sorry the size 64 by 64 save it uh, on your um, computer Now we have to move this icon in specific folder. So we copy the image file and navigate to user share icons high color 64 by 64. You're gonna need a root access to be able to paste the file. So in my previous uh, video I show what is the command to activate the root access. Usually after installation of Linux Mint it will show you the command but if somebody missed it in my previous video you can find how to activate the root account. So after all we reach we opening application a uh, folder app like root putting the password and we will be able to paste it. Now, to be able to use this icon, we have to use a command to refresh the icons cache, and here it is. Now the icon will be visible from our shortcuts, changing the desktop shortcut, I, I select the name waterfox of the file, so I just search in waterfox. We have unpinned this and with right button configure, we navigate to the manager of the menu. The same procedure properties selecting the new icon. And repeating if you want to still have on the toolbar. Right button on the icon and pin in the toolbar. That's everything. It's very simple how I said it's a Firefox. You just put Firefox extensions and just download and everything including the legacy extensions. Thank you.